Hi, I'm Andy from the Bumblebee Conservation Trust and on this Topic Tuesday we're going to take a whistle-stop tour through the evolution of bumblebees. The bumblebee story is thought to have started around 140 million years ago. This is when the first flowers are thought to have appeared on Earth. Now, the first flowers were nothing fancy, they were small and simple, but they changed everything. At this time there were no bees on the planet, but there were wasps. Wasps are carnivores and they feed other insects to their young to provide them with the protein that they need to grow. As time went on, more and more flowers appeared on Earth, and the pollen that they produced provided a new source of protein. Some wasps started collecting this pollen to feed to their young instead of hunting other insects. And this is what is thought to have led to the evolution of the first bees around 130 million years ago. These first bees looked much more like their wasp ancestors than bumblebees, but something was happening deep underground that was about to change this. Okay, so to understand what happens next, we need to have a quick geography lesson. Did uh, somebody say geography lesson? What? I should, uh, I should probably handle this. Thank you very much. Here you go. Wonderful. So in the centre of the earth is the core. A huge ball of iron and nickel that can reach temperatures between 5 and 6,000 degrees Celsius. This incredible heat causes the fluid layer above the core, called the mantle, to rise. And as the fluid mantle rises away from the heat of the core, it cools and begins to fall again, being reheated and rising again. This is known as convection. The same theory can be seen in practice in a hot air balloon. As the air in the balloon is heated, it rises through the cooler air around it and for the balloon to descend again, the hot air is released. The rise and fall of the fluid mantle creates convection currents, which force the top layer of the Earth, known as the crust, to move. The crust covers the surface of the Earth and can be between 5 and 50 kilometers thick, creating the familiar shapes of the continents. The crust isn't made from one solid piece of rock. In fact, it's made from loads of huge slabs of rock, all joined together like an enormous jigsaw. These huge slabs of rock are known as tectonic plates. As convection currents move the tectonic plates around, they can move away from each other or crash into one another. And this is the process that causes earthquakes and volcanoes. As two tectonic plates crash into one another, the land between them can become crushed and crumpled and forced upwards, and this is how mountain ranges are made. This is exactly what was happening in an area north of India around 50 million years ago. Two tectonic plates, the Indian and the Eurasian tectonic plates, collided together with enormous force, pushing the land in between them upwards and creating the mountain range that we now know as the Himalayas. Finished? Okay, thank you for that. Well, well, so why is all that relevant to the evolution of bumblebees? Well, as the land between the Indian and the Eurasian plates started to rise, the temperatures started to fall. This is because temperatures decrease as you go higher into the atmosphere. That's why you sometimes see snow on the tops of mountains, but not at the bottom. The bees in this area had to adapt to survive in these lower temperatures, so they started to change. Over time, these skinny, bald, wasp-like bees started to get bigger and rounder, reducing their surface area to volume ratio and helping them stay warmer. They also developed a thick covering of hairs, which acted like a big winter jacket. So between 25 and 40 million years ago, the earliest versions of bumblebees, or proto-bumblebees, were flying around near Mount Everest. The bumblebees' cold weather adaptations prevented them from spreading south into India and beyond. Instead, they spread northwards through the world's temperate regions and even up into the Arctic Circle. Even today, there are double the number of bumblebee species found in the polar climates of the Arctic region than can be found in the world's tropical regions. This specialism for cooler climates makes the UK a great place for bumblebees, and in fact, almost 10% of all of the world's bumblebee species can be found here in the UK. This makes the people here in the UK the guardians of globally important bumblebee populations, and it's our responsibility to look after them and make sure that the UK is a place where bumblebees can thrive and are valued. 
If you want to find out more about bumblebees and how you can help them, there's loads of information on our website at bumblebeeconservation.org. You can also follow us on social media to keep up with all the latest bumblebee news.